Hey everybody, and it's English farmer Sam here again. You know, from the farm shop. Might have told you about it, I'm not sure. Um, anyway, I'm here on the Stoke Road. So Blizzard is that way, Stoke Bruin is that way. And this is the entrance to the farm. Because I don't want people getting lost trying to find me. Inconvenience is not key. To hear some lovely banners. Farm shop, Saturday and Sunday, 9am to 2pm. Meat, dairy, veg, bakery. That's my phone number for all you lucky ladies that want to hit me up. And we also have a website, um, www.newtunnelhillfarmshop.co.uk forward slash forward slash. So yeah, I mean we're looking, oh, the banner's made it a little bit better. I painted the gates two shades of blue, because I ran out of paint. Um, but yeah, I mean this is it. I want to give you the postcode NN73DB. I mean, if you're coming, this is what you're looking for. Come and see me. All you beautiful people. Right then, here it is. <laughs> the new Tunnel Hill Farm shop. So when you get here, I mean, it's just absolutely screaming glamorous. I don't really know why the Beckhams don't shop here. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is what we have outside. We have mainly our root vegetables, our savoy, our magnificent savoy cabbages there. Bunch carrots, lovely, big, thick bunch carrots. You know they're fresh because the tops are green still. Good, strong leeks, grown locally, I've been told. I think they're just the other side of Earl's Barton from Northamptonshire. Lovely red peppers, two types of carrots here. We get a lot of people that just want like the young girls and that, they just want the one for their pony. And what do you charge for that? I just have to end up giving them. I'll probably give away about 10 kilo of carrots a week for pony snacks. Um, but yeah, some brilliant cauliflowers. And we've got Maris Piper potatoes. You cut them open, they're really good. There's a nice amount of starch there for like roasting uh, and mashed potato, they're excellent for that. Um, but just an all round good general purpose potato. So we get in here, we got fantastic white close cut mushrooms, bacon and salad potatoes, a fantastic range of vine tomatoes, cherry vine tomatoes that are delicious. I probably eat a box of them a week, I probably have to buy in a box for myself. Some real strong stemmed broccolis there, they come in ice, that's fantastic, uh, and you just know they've just been cut box into ice and they get delivered to me uh, so yeah good strong swede everything's strong today I think Christ I mean if you're on a health kick get your broccoli get your cucumbers get down here so we come to our glass fridge I mean we've been absolutely ram raided for cheese yesterday we do a fantastic um, Tour Valley Blue mature cheddar and red Leicester um, but I'm not gonna lie out of the Fowler's range, this is a winner for me. The Tuckle Cellar Mature. 12 month Truckle Cellar Mature. I can tell my mother and father paid for my education there. Um, some Charbel, that's like a Wednesday I've been told. That's excellent, that's really nice. Clotted cream. Trays of 30 eggs for five pounds. Okay. That, I mean, I think that is cheap for on-farm free-range eggs like myself. I mean, you can see my heads, you can see the lives they lead. Um, and I just want to be there, you know, to teach people where my products are coming from. A fantastic full-fat milk. We do do a semi-skimmed range, but that's been sold out. Everyone must be just getting a little bit porky through lockdown. So they've gone for the semi-skimmed. I mean, there's a good amount of cream on there. If you want flavour, it's in this. That's a pound a litre two pound for the four pint bottles five pound for the 30 egg trays and then a fantastic range of fowler's cheese and then tour valley cheese that we we get sent up from the dairy where our milk goes and we cut it and, and block it and stick it in there for you lot to enjoy when you come and see me just a quick bit about the fruit brilliantly yellow bananas i think they're even fair trade 
I mean, we paid that banana banana farmer a fair price so he could take his lovely wife out for a slap up dinner. So we're doing our bit for for foreign countries. I know I know we can't just do everything from local sources. We got to go a little bit farther for the easy peelers. I've heard they're fantastic. I get through two boxes of 60 of them a week. And do you know what people just go mad from? Kids, the elderly, they're just good for snacks. Millie has about five a day, clears me out of them. Um, apples, English gala, brilliant. Still got a fantastic crunch. And everybody enjoys them. Whittlebury bread, we sold a lot of Whittlebury bread today, this week. As you can see, if your man picked his crates up. But there you go. Um, so yeah, we have white sliced, large white sliced, multi siege lard and small white, hang on, small multi seed slice. Plus white baps and donuts, normally on a Saturday. But this is the exciting bit. We've got Kate Lee's very own lemon drizzle cakes, made from our very own free range eggs. I mean, look at the colors in there. I mean, we've got one out of the Aracana there, the brown Warren eggs. And then here, I mean, they're a bit smaller because they're young hens, but these are the white Lagorns that we just got coming on. So you'll have to bear with a little bit of small egg size again because we just got them coming. A delicious coffee cake there. I mean, you know what to do. Go and at Mary Berry. Just, you know, let's have a bake off. Kate Lee, Mary Berry, me mum here, she should be on bake off. Right, so while you're there, I mean, you can see the difference. Just wanted to show you this really, because it does. The old hens make me a little bit, uh, they get me a little bit excited because I do like doing with them. So there's your standard good brown large egg. And then out the white lagoons, they're just starting to pop little ones, you know? See a difference there? To be fair, if you fired that out to start with, you'd know about it. But I don't blame them. So, so yeah. If you are coming and you're a lemon curd kind of person, my mum's made some lemon curd as well. And you know what? It's pretty peak. Right, so, as we're here, I'm going to show you what meat we've got going on. Because we do it all here, rear it up myself. You get to see it on the videos. So you get to see the life that I'm giving the animals and the way I'm treating the animals. And there's no, I'm not hiding anything here from you. So when you buy a product from me, I know I respect vegans and vegetarians. I think that's fantastic because I, I know what you're doing is right. But you've also got to support like local people like us, farmers. I mean, farmers have been about for years, so I think we should keep being about supporting the country and feeding the feeding the uh, the population. Uh, and yeah, so this is the this is the fantastic products I'm producing here. Uh, I mean, these are our fantastic sausages. They're made from the pigs that we rear here. Um, fantastic job by Joseph Morris in Kilworth they make all the sausages for us we take the pigs to them and they come back looking all fabulous like that so yeah some of the chicken drumsticks got our free range broiler birds here I mean I've sold all the breasts um, this week they went like hot cakes which is good we're getting there I mean but I think them I think they'll be they'll be really they'll be really popular in barbecue season when the weather warms up I mean, yeah, this is sold. This is just out for, this is just out for, uh, just to show you guys. But this is what we're doing as a roasting bird. I mean, that's a two, two and a half kilo roasting bird there. I mean, look at that, tons of meat. That last year week. And we'll get onto that. I'll, there'll be videos about them. Uh, we just got another young batch in. So they're inside at the moment, but they'll get let out. Uh, pork chops, fantastic pork chops. Lovely amount of fat on there, loads of meat, all on the bone. They'd fry up beautiful with some of our staple groceries that you can buy here as well. I mean, this is frozen. I'm kind of keeping it frozen, so I've got plenty in stock. Um, but leg of lamb, beautiful leg of lamb there. If you can work that out, um, you won't get, but you, you will not get better lamb than what I am getting in this shop. And what else have we got over here? Bit of steak, steak on spuds, by Lovely, two pack sirloin steaks. That'd be about, what would that be? Ten or a pack, 
absolutely fantastic. Thinking of a date night, fellas, thinking about cooking your lovely other half, a super slap up steak dinner. That is what you need. Fall in love with you instantly. So I've done it. So I've pulled the most beautiful girl in the world. But don't mess about here at Newton Little Farm. Right, so we've just been in seeing the hens. You've just seen a little bit of footage of the hens scratching about and uh, uh, them in the laying boxes until they knock the camera over. But yeah, so we're in here and I've got some important information for you for Easter. So we'll get down to business because this has got to be done right. So Easter's coming up next weekend and I know hopefully you'll have your small bubble of family round and you'll want some fresh lamb and some fresh like poultry cockles like that you saw earlier. I'll get them back out. But all the meat will be fresh. Okay, so everything, there's a couple of things going in this week. Um, and the chickens, the on-farm chickens, they'll be done for, for the table for your fantastic Easter roasts. So will the lamb. Two seconds. Just so here we go again. There's your brilliant broiler bird. There's so much meat on there. There's so much value for money. It'd be the best thing you'll have on the table. That the whole family. You could not mess this up cooking. You'd look like Gordon Ramsay. At Gordon Ramsay. Also, before you go, there's another thing I want to um, get out to you guys. I've got loads of eggs, we've got so much milk, and we want to be pushing it daily. I know how annoying it is, you come downstairs, you want your pancakes, you need your full fat milk, you need your eggs, and Newton Hill Farm Shop's not open on a Tuesday morning, so that's no good. So what I'm proposing is, if you think it's a good idea, and comment below to say whether you think it is a good idea that I'm open every day with an honesty box, free to round the front, you pull in, you come in, you put your two pound for your four pints of milk in, or your pound for your two pints of milk, and your pound for your free range eggs. Fantastic, uh, fantastic, aesthetic, fresh free range eggs there. From the hens you've seen, scratching about, loving life. You'll get some more footage of the cows coming up. Um, every day, come down, get your 30 egg tray for a fiver, get your milk, get your eggs, and there'll be other bits about, there'll probably be sausages for sale, there'll probably be a few blocks of cheese for sale. But what you've got to remember for this week is fresh lamb for Easter, fresh free range poultry for Easter, and if you want eggs and milk daily, let me know, because I can provide it, because we're fully stocked, and they're pumping them out. And this is English Farmer Sam, and if you like what you've seen, like and subscribe, um, you know, leave a comment, that's great. I know customers in this morning, it's a Sunday morning, a customer's in saying how fantastic, uh, how fantastic the videos were and they left a comment. And you know what, that makes me, that absolutely makes me buzzed. So um, yeah, hit me up. This is English Farmer Sam for another episode. From Newton Hill Farm Shop here with the lovely dairy cows over and out.